Welcome to Your Healthy Kitchen from YRMC. Welcome to Your Healthy Kitchen. I'm your host, Rita Carey Rubin. You know, we are out in the field today, literally at beautiful Mortimer Farms in Dewey, Arizona. And it's been three years since we were last here when we toured the farm and made some awesome tacos with farm owner, Charlotte Mortimer. So we decided it was time to check in again with our farmer friend. And Charlotte recognizes the importance of keeping fertile land and farming, supporting local growers, and teaching kids and adults about where good food comes from. And it's really obvious that she loves her work. Hey, Charla, tell us a bit about the farm, why you love what you do, and take us on a tour. Hey, thanks, Rita. It's great to have you all here at the farm with us. This is Mortimer Farms. I'm Charla Mortimer, and I can't wait to show you around the farm. A little bit more about our company. We've been here for 10 years now on the corner of 69 and 169 in Dewey. We love having families come out, have a great time, and do some you pick while they're here at the farm. So our farm is about education, about uh, growing food, and supplying it for you and your families. And hopefully you guys can come out, pick some great vegetables, take them home and, and eat them at your table, and enjoy a little piece of Mortimer Farms there at your home. So let's go on out for a tour. So here in the gardens at Mortimer Farms, we're so glad that you guys have joined us today, and I'd love to show you around a little bit more. This is our two acre field. We have uh, lots of tomatoes, peppers, squash, zucchini, all kinds of great veggies that grow right here in this garden. Now, when we first started the farm 10 years ago, we had a small field and it was about, oh, I don't know, two fields over, not right next to the farm store like it is today. And we had lots of vegetables growing and families would come into the store and say, where are these veggies coming from? And we would say, oh, they're right here at the farm, you know, right over there, we're growing them right there and uh, they just didn't quite catch it. And so as we uh, started to grow more, I'm like, we need to move the garden right next to the farm so everybody can see it. As they're at the farm store, you can see, walk out these back doors and see this beautiful garden right here that's behind me. Another thing is, is that we invite you as families to come on out and you pick your own veggies. Now there's a lot of reasons for this. One, we want you to see how these plants are grown, to see what an okra plant might look like. You know, it gets a beautiful little white flower on it. A lot of people don't know that. And so there's things that um, we want you to experience more than just the taste of the food, but to really see how it's grown and, and how, we, how we harvest it, all of these great things. That connection with your food helps families to enjoy more varieties of vegetables, as well as the kids to think that, you know, don't really like veggies very much. Once they've picked it, they get excited about it and they're willing to try more varieties, try more things. So here we are in the You Pick Garden, where you are all invited to come on out and pick your own veggies and, and take them home and, and prepare them for your dinner table tonight. Now, I love the garden, watching the flowers bloom, seeing the produce growing, seeing the bees pollinating, all of these great things that we get to experience when we're here at the farm that, um, you know, are just so much fun. Now, we all know that gardening is a lot of work. You know, you got to plant and prepare the soils and water and weed and all these things all summer long. Well, we make it a lot more fun. So all you guys got to do is come on out and harvest, which is the best way and the best time uh, to be able to enjoy your garden. <laughs> so come on out, enjoy our gardens here and harvest lots of vegetables for your family right here at Mortimer Farms. Well, here you go out in the garden, just like I told you, one of my favorite places to be all summer. And this is why I'm sitting here with some purple beans and you see these beautiful blooms here and that uh, each one of these will become a will become a bean, just like I'm showing you right here. So this is a purple bean. You would eat it just like this. In fact, uh, you know, you don't even have to cook this stuff. Mm, it's so good. You can eat it right off of the vine. So nice and tender. That's what produce is supposed to taste like. Now I look right here, this is a, um, this is a zucchini plant right here. And it's so great because you see as we're out here, the nice green bushes that are, that are so big and prolific and they get this beautiful bloom. Now this bloom is actually edible as well. And the bees come and they love uh, to pollinate from one, from one bloom to the next. And as they grow and pollinate, um, then we get a little baby. So this bloom, let me show you here, the bloom will actually close. So this bloom was here and then it closed and now it's turning into a small little patty pan squash. And as we keep letting it grow a little bit more, they get bigger and bigger. Now the growth from the bloom to here is about a day. 
and after three days you're going to have a really big patty pan squash so these are ones that we want to pick all the time constantly want to make sure we pick uh, the, they're really tender when they're small and delicious my favorite way to eat a patty pan squash is to carve out the center of it fill it with a sausage stuffing and bake it in the oven for about 30 45 minutes oh my goodness it just melts in your mouth delicious and that's my favorite way to eat some squash now squash is a great vegetable really high in in, uh, in vitamins and oxidants for you and it's really great because it changes the flavor based on what you're putting it in I love it in pastas, I love it in, in meats, in, on sandwiches. I mean, you can, you can, it's a very versatile plant, very versatile vegetable that you can use in lots and lots of different ways. And so one of my favorite go-tos is zucchini, squash, um, any, of, any of the patty pans that you see here are fantastic. So lots of different ways that you can eat it. In fact, you can even eat uh, squash and zucchini as a substitute for, um, for noodles, for pastas. And so if you're uh, gluten-free or wanting to do any of that, you're welcome to, to grate up some uh, zucchini and use that as a substitute for, for your pasta. I think we have six different kinds of beans here at the farm growing this year. The squash, I think there's about four different kinds of squash from patty pans to green and yellow zucchini to this Kirkneck squash, all kinds of different stuff. Um, and then that's just a couple of our items as well as, you know, the tomatoes. I have over 3,000 tomato plants growing this year. So lots of different varieties of tomatoes. Vegetables are so amazing because there are so many different kinds and styles, hybrids to heirloom varieties, and it is so much fun to experience and try all of them. So lots of options this year at the garden here at Mortimer Farms. Hey, we're going to go check out the berries. Let's go on out. Well, here we are out in the blackberries. Now this is the perfect, amazing time to pick blackberries as you can see right here. Oh my goodness. So while we're, doing, while we're looking at blackberries, let me also talk a little bit about why it's so important to support our local farmers. You know, uh, here in Yavapai County, even in Arizona, there are lots of people that are growing our vegetables and our, and our beef right here locally. And so the more of that that you can support, the more that we can encourage that, we can keep this beautiful farmland and ranch land in production. You know, that's really important. Once we put a house on that property, it never can go back. And so we really want to encourage you to support our local farmers and ranchers. Buy American, uh, you know, support that even in the grocery stores. How critical it is that we all know where our food is coming from, the way it's being grown, and that we're able to support those local families that are right here in our community taking care of us. So that's our goal. As part of the community, I do lots of stuff in the community to help our local organizations. And in return, I do, uh, you know, hope and, and, and am so excited to see all these families come out and help to support us as well. So back to blackberries. Oh my goodness. Now I picked this in about, I don't know, two minutes. It took me to pick these beautiful blackberries. And if you see on this blackberry vine right here behind me, it is loaded. This is a five acre field of blackberries and I'm, we're at about one, well, maybe two cubic feet or two square feet right here. So uh, you can imagine all the blackberries that are here growing at the farm this year. It has been a bumper crop and we are so excited. Now I do want to show you just like I did in the vegetables a little bit about how they grow and so if you see right down here we have this little stem right here and if you can see the blooms come so about oh four weeks ago five weeks ago we started having some blooms that bloom as the bloom uh, gets uh, pollinated and then the then the petals fall off and this is a cool plant because you can see as the pro progression of it so right out of the middle here the stamen then turns in that's actually where the berries grow. Cause so you can see on this little one right here, how those little um, uh, nobs are starting to grow for the blackberry itself. And before too long, it turns into this red berry. Now these ones, you can eat them, but they're really bitter. So they're still bitter at this point. They're still growing and they're not ready yet. We had people picking ras uh, red raspberries uh, about three weeks ago. And I'm like, those aren't raspberries. Those are, those are blackberries. They're not ready yet. And then it takes a few more days and then you get these beautiful blackberries. Aren't they amazing? Nice and fresh right off of the vine. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, so now that I've made you totally jealous, oh, I'm gonna eat a few more berries and then we're gonna go check out the animals. Come on, let's go along. <laughs> 
So here we are, uh, our last stop here at Mortimer Farms. We're in with the chickens right now. I just decided to give them a little bit of corn and of course they're, uh, they're loving it. So uh, anyway, we're so glad that you joined us today and uh, spent some time with us here and learning more about what we offer here at Mortimer Farms. We're on the corner of 69 and 169 in Dewey. Uh, MortimerFarmsAZ.com has lots of details about all of our upcoming events as well as activities that are going on every day here at the farm. And uh, you know, it's always great to have you visit us and have these families come and, and enjoy and learn and, and experience a little bit more about what it's like here on the farm. So welcome and uh, we'll hope to see your family here at the farm real soon. Thanks for coming. Well, wow, thank you so much, Sharla. Thank you for giving us this wonderful tour and for sharing your passion about farming and growing delicious, nutritious food and teaching us all about where good food comes from. So remember, you can watch lots of our videos on YRMC's Your Healthy Kitchen, and you can also follow me on Facebook at YRMC's Your Healthy Kitchen, where you can see what I make at home and what I'll be making at home with some of this gorgeous produce that I'm about to pick. So I'm gonna to get to work and we'll see you guys soon.